I have a question for Ramu. Yeah. Ramu, basically speaking, whether you agree or not, you are a trendsetter in the sense you used to make raw films with newcomers in the lead and also you were one of the first filmmakers who dubbed films in Tamil, Telugu and other languages year, long before the pan-India term was discovered. So how do you feel now that every film made in South is becoming a pan-India film which is being dubbed in five, six, seven languages? See, to start with, I think, uh, and like typically as Indians, we all want to just come up with a term and label. If you remember some, uh, maybe some 20 years back, when uh, Mira Nair's film got, became a big hit, you know, Monsoon Wedding, they started calling crossover films. We always want to put a name, you know? So, see, eventually, if, if Hollywood films are released all over the world, but they don't call it a pan-world film, that's a typical Indian mentality, you know? If you remember, even in the time of uh, when uh, the gentleman, sorry, uh, the Prabhudeva film, Hamsay Mukabla and all that, whichever is a big film, used to come and run here also in, a, in, a, in Hindi. So for a short period that happened, maybe three, four years or something, there was instances when something like a Hamaap Ke Kaun or a Mane Pyar Kya were dubbed in, uh, in South, in Telugu and Tamil language, which worked. But what happened recently is the numbers have become so big that they overtook Hindi collections. That is, that is where the shock is. Mm. So, like, you know, the satellite market or the so-called Hindi dubbing market, which was uh, always very big for many, many years. But people had this mental block, both in North and South, was sirf satellite mein chalti hai. So they never even bothered to check if it will if work if you release it in the theater. So they thought they're getting a handsome chunk of money, Charot Hindi dubbing me based though. But they got a shock of their life with Pushpas and yeah. KGF2 and Triple R and all this. So I think now it is a time, especially because of the OTT, any good content can be put anywhere. Because if people are watching Malayalam films on OTT and sitting in Bombay or Korean films, so the whole world is at your disposal. So then a theatrical release is just about your capacity and your uh, 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 your own vision of whether it can do well or not. I think uh, that change has come now, very mm. suddenly. And it took everybody by surprise. A lot of people have this misconception that Bollywood is shocked about this, but actually South is equally shocked. <laughs> you know, it is not true that only Bollywood, because uh, I think uh, now Kannada industry, for example, we, we were not aware of its existence. You know, nobody in Andhra Pradesh sees a Kannada film, uh, AP and Telangana or in Tamil Nadu. And uh, now that became the highest grossing Hindi film. <laughs> a dubbed Hindi film is highest grosser of Indian cinema is something which could have never thought of in your life. 